What is up guys, this is your boy Five Nights Finest, the Sophie commentator here with HZ Gaming for you, Henry Zayas81, the victor and the bout between him and Nice Kidneys, and I would like to congratulate you on your hard-earned victory over Nice Kidneys. What was your feelings going into that fight? Well, thank you for having me on uh, Five Nights Finest, man. Uh, my thoughts going into that fight was, after watching uh, Nice Kidneys videos, uh, I thought he was pretty tough. You know, so I kind of, you know, I was prepared for that. And then, you know, going into the fight, I did find out that he, you know, he is a pretty quality fighter. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Kidney is a very good fighter as well as a very good commentator. What did you do in order to prepare for your fight against Nike's Kidneys? Well, for that fight, uh, I have to be a little bit honest. Uh, I was so busy. I've been very busy with the tournament, putting everything together. I was kind of concerned that I might not perform to the top level because uh, I've been very busy. I, I I didn't get no practice in, like not even a fight uh, against anybody uh, in the last like four days, if you notice my channel. So uh, yeah, I was pretty worried about that and I think I felt kind of rusty going into that fight. So you weren't too sure of what the outcome would be, but all you planned to do was give it your all. Yeah, yeah, the most definitely, most definitely. I felt a little nervous. Uh, I usually don't feel nervous at all because I'm ready. Uh, but this time, I was feel I felt a little bit nervous because I didn't know how, how after a four day layoff I was gonna do, you know, without having a fight. Uh yes. <clears throat> going into the fight, then you noticed early on in the fight that the rounds were a lot longer. How did that affect your game and your strategy going into the fight? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, I know there was a little situation there, and, uh, uh, you know, I had to apologize if I went a little bit too strong on the video. It's that not only was I a little nervous because I was rusty, but also I noticed there was three minutes. So it was a double adjustment going on in my mind and a lot of confusion at the moment. But I'm pretty sure that he didn't do it uh, under any harm. You know, I'm pretty sure he, he didn't do it on purpose like that or anything like that. And I could have, we could have easily agreed to restart the fight. But, you know, we agreed to go on with it. So three minutes, five minutes, we went on with it. We both agreed. So I guess it was a fight. Do you think if the fight was two minutes per round that the outcome of the fight would have changed? I think so a little bit because, uh, you know, uh, after the first round, it's that I noticed that it was actually three minutes. So I came out swinging punches and I did uh, lose about 13 to 17 uh, percent, I believe it was, in the first round. If you guys see my fights, I never, I probably lose 17% stamina during a course of six rounds. So I think that kind of switched it up a little bit. I had to slow down my game. Uh, in a two-minute fight, I know when to throw, I know when to stop throwing in order to keep my stamina up. So I think it did play a role, a big role in my attack. Uh, what really changed that? What adjustments did you have to make to your strategy in order to be the victor of this bout okay well it was after uh after round three was over i thought he took one of those two rounds but as soon as round four, well, round four started i noticed that i was up three nothing so from there on if you guys noticed the video uh, i decided to just lay back and just start throwing one punch or two punches at a time instead of throwing combinations that would get me even more tired because i was at 60 percent at that point so i was deadly uh tired for being round four so i just laid back if you guys notice and just fought you know just box i used to inside fighter to box actually you know <laughs> <laughs> yes no inside fighters are very dangerous on this game my final my final question is after your victory with nice kidneys you have a very tough opponent in relapse how do you expect that fight to go i think uh us two go versus relapse that's gonna be a, a the word that comes to my mind is going to be fireworks, man. It's going to be fireworks. We're both attackers. We both like to bang our opponents. So I guess it's going to be a war in the middle of the ring. And uh, and I guess the best man that lands the most powerful punches is the one that's going to be victory. going to be victorious in this fight. It's going to be an action-packed fight. I guarantee you guys. All right. Thank you, AZ Gaming, for taking your time out of your day to conduct this interview with me. For all you guys who don't know, the link will be in the description for the fight between Kitney and HC Gaming for you. This is your boy Fight Night.